Oh hey everyone, welcome to 8 tips for looking after an older dog. My aim here is to give you some really good ideas about ways that you can help an older dog, your older pal. If you want to adopt a dog, then bear in mind um, a lot of older dogs find it harder to be adopted. If you want to find a really loving and loyal friend, then absolutely go for an older dog. We, we actually have an older dog, um, we had her when she was younger. It is so rewarding, you know, just um, having that relationship with sort of an older experienced dog. And, you know, they're just as much fun as a puppy, honestly. Make sure you have a quiet space for your dog. This is really important. A dog should have a space where they can be alone sometimes. You know, having a sort of um, space of their own means that they can sleep and relax. And, you know, they can be completely comfortable. A lot of older dogs love, obviously, playing and spending time with people. But sometimes they want a bit of alone time. So having a space like that can really help your friend. Let's go to number two. Switch to a food formulated for older dogs. So as they start to get a bit older and slow down a bit, you may want to choose a formula that's uh, specially designed for older dogs. I'd avoid foods with, well, I'd avoid human foods, you know, where possible, like scraps and things. But um, yeah, obviously any food that's high in sugar or high in fat can cause a lot of problems. At Christmas, avoid giving your dog turkey or Christmas dinner. A lot of dogs can't really handle high amounts of fat. A lot of dogs actually get sick around Christmas because they've they've had a bit too much turkey. And obviously you should avoid or look up foods which dogs can't have anyway because there's a whole range of food which is quite poisonous to dogs such as garlic, onions, chocolate, grapes, raisins. So tip number three, um, consider using joint care tablets. You could probably get these from your vet or else they're available online on places like Amazon. Well, our dog actually does have joint care tablets and they do seem to help her quite a lot. We used to use a brand called Pet Soul Advanced Joint Care, but I think they've stopped manufacturing it. So there's a lot of stuff you should look out for. Omega-3 fatty acids um, like DHA and EPA are really, really good for dogs because they can help with joints and they can help reduce inflammation. Other ingredients like glucosamine or turmeric can help a dog's joints. There's also stuff like uh, chromium and MSN, all kinds of things like that, which are ingredients that, again, can really help with joints. I'd recommend using a product that's approved for dogs. But bear in mind, dogs can have some human food. One of the things that our dog absolutely loves is if we're making mince, then before we add any onion or anything else, we um, get a bit of a meat and we slightly cook it for about a minute in the microwave. And that just kind of makes it a bit nice and warm for the dog. And, you know, our dog absolutely loves that. Um, it's still basically raw meat. But there's some uh, really good stuff in raw meat which dogs can uh, benefit from too. But obviously everything in moderation. Older dogs love regular walks and uh, keeping up their fitness. Some will spend longer sniffing because they need a break. Or because their sense of smell may diminish with time. Just let your pooch have a bit of a sniff round. But absolutely maintaining their health and everything is you know incredibly important and you know it's good for you too so also be responsive to your dog so if your dog looks a bit tired then you know don't take it on super long walks and just um, keep an eye on your dog and if you are going to go on a longer walk with your buddy consider bringing some uh, water because um, quite often the dog will um, walk along and they'll um, get a little bit thirsty so you know your dog will really appreciate that especially on a warm day um, and I suppose on a warm day you should also feel the ground with the back of your hand like for concrete just to make sure that it's not too hot right because dogs are going to be walking on it and dogs can occasionally burn their feet yeah just back of a hand on the floor for like a minute or something and you know you'll know if it's okay or not number five look after your dog's health you can buy doggy toothpaste that can help keep your canine's mouth clean you can buy stuff like dentist sticks that help remove plaque you can keep your dog's fur in good condition by um, gently brushing it with a good brush. Also consider occasional checkups with your vet because prevention can be a lot cheaper than cure. If um, you know you've got any kind of concerns, then obviously get them checked out. So we're going to go on to number six. Remember, keeping your pet um, home accessible can really help your pooch out. Older dogs may find it harder to get in and out of cars. So they may need a bit of a hand. Um, if you could um, get a ramp or something, that'd be perfect. Doggy flap is, again, really good, but make sure that they're um, easily accessible so the dog can get in and out easily because 
we've actually got a doggy flap and our dog um she uses it fine but she kind of struggles sometimes especially with her back legs you know bear in mind for if dogs are slowing down a bit then you know just having a really good accessible home can you know keep their dog happy i guess um try to identify if there's any problems that your dog is having so tip number seven older dogs love to play but don't overdo it always keep a close eye on your friend to make sure they aren't playing too hard so for example many dogs like to play tug of war if your dog wants to play obviously you know have a game you know i mean dogs um absolutely love to play but um also you know keep an eye that um, a lot of dogs can get a big adrenaline rush and they can you know pull quite a lot on the um on the t sort of tug and then they um, might feel a bit like their teeth are sore or something later on so you know um keep an eye on them really playing with your dog actually keeps their mind active and keeps them happy so one of the things I occasionally do, which is a bit of an naughty game, is if I'm going out, and in fact you could use this for dogs that bark when you go out, you can get a bunch of small treats or something, and you can basically throw it around your downstairs of your house or something, and then the dog will run around sort of looking for the treats. It's going to be quite a fun little treat, like, it's going to be quite fun, like enrichment. So number eight, dogs love belly rubs and warm hugs. They love spending time with you, they love car rides and walks in the park, even if they are a bit slow. Dogs love toys, they love food puzzles, so you know you can get those cones or balls and you can put a bit of cheese or something in there. And not that cheese isn't particularly good food, but yeah, in, in moderation now I think it's fine. But you can get squeaky toys and, and ropes and tennis balls and much more. Dogs absolutely love their toys. You know, if your pooch has um, a few toys around, then it can make the dog feel, you know, happy and also, my dog, she'll sort of pick up a toy and she'll run over to you and um, it's, I think she feels a bit insecure sometimes, but we always make a fuss of a toy too. Tip number nine, make sure that your dog's nails are cut fairly short, okay? When a dog's walking, if you hear sort of a clickety-clack of their nails, then maybe it's time to get the nails trimmed. Um, one of the problems that we had with our, well, that we have with our dog is if her nails get a bit long, you can sort of hear them clicking on the ground and it kind of makes her, it less comfortable for her to walk. Older dogs are absolutely brilliant, you know, if they love to sort of cuddle up with you on the sofa. If you're feeling sick, they'll come and sort of stay with you. Be responsive to the dog's needs. Everything should be perfect. Thank you very much and I uh, hope you enjoyed this and let me know in the comments what you thought and please like and subscribe. Thanks.